guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a little, little different video. Uh, I have reached a major milestone in my life health-wise. It has been a milestone that I've been trying to hit for, I wanna say like three years, three, four years at least, and it's just that goal has been getting farther and farther away, and it finally came. So, I mean, as most of you can tell, I'm sure, I am a plus size queen, <laughs> and I have been like this for more than more than half my life I've just struggled with my weight and about a year and a half ago is when I started to get serious about losing the weight my I was up to my highest weight which was around 360 pounds and I, I can still remember like the pain I was in I couldn't walk very well every like stairs my knees would crack everything it was horrible and I think now of like all the things I can do and like I'm still big I'm still not as athletic as I'd like to be. I was living in Calgary at the time and it was winter. That December I fractured my foot and then a week and a half later I dislocated my opposite knee and it, it like completely disabled me for like six to eight weeks and I couldn't I couldn't drive because my foot that I fractured was my right foot and so I depended a lot on people and like get, trying to get to work, which I was working at a place I didn't like, I wasn't happy with. There was so much ice, I was continuously falling and re-injuring myself and it was just downhill. And then when I made the decision to move out here, I was living in Parksville and it was just gorgeous. I lived on a street where there was like a loop block. So every night Keel and I would just go walk and go to the beach and just get out. And I just started seeing the weight drop. And so then my goal was by Christmas time to be under 300 pounds. Around then I was about 320 and this was like August, September and I was like, yeah, okay, I can do this. I can do this. It didn't happen. <laughs> a couple days ago I stepped on the scale for the first time in a few weeks and I know it's not overly accurate but it said something amazing. So I will show you the clip of when I realized because I was funny. My mom, I was uh, so joyful and it's not, <laughs> it is a big deal. So I hope you don't judge me for the way I reacted but I was so, so happy. Here's the clip. <laughs> Hey guys, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I honestly wasn't sure if this day would ever come because I was so bad. <sighs> this is so amazing. Okay, so I stepped on the scale for the first time in a little while and for the first time in quite a few years, I wanna say at least three, I'm under 300 pounds. Oh my God. So to date, I've lost about 60 pounds. <sighs> Oh my gosh, and I'm just going to step on my scale and <laughs> prove it. <laughs> prove that I'm not a faker. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. Oh, it feels so good. It makes me want to push and do even more. And like, I haven't been working out. I don't actually go to a gym or work out. I just go for walks and eat sensibly now and it seems to be working. So until I plateau and until that stops working, I'm not going to the gym, I'm not injuring myself. My joints feel a lot better. I mean, 60 pounds lifted off, to them, off of them, holy sugar. But yeah, that's, that's so great. And to be honest, I've had not the greatest week. <laughs> So this is, this is good. I always told myself that once I hit that goal, I needed to do something for myself. And it's not necessarily like buying myself something. So instead, I was like, well, if it's nice this weekend, Keela loves her W-A-L-Ks. I can't say the word because she will freak out. And she doesn't know this, but we are going on a hike that I've been wanting to do since I moved to Victoria because I can see the mountain from my window where I sit at work. And I've always just, that's gonna be our reward today. We're gonna get out of the house. Uh, I was going to go into work for a bit today because it was supposed to be cloudy and gloomy and it was going to put a damper on my plans we were going to have to find something else to do, but it's gorgeous. It's so nice. It's all blue sky. It says it's like, even the weather right now, when I look, it says mostly cloudy right now and I'm going to say that's a negative. So I just woke up a little while ago. I'm just going to have my protein smoothie, get something in my system. Recently another kind of incident happened uh, that kind of threw me for a health scare. I was just standing in my doorway and all of a sudden I couldn't feel the left side of my body at all. Like it, it was like it wasn't there. And then my chest 
started to, to hurt really bad and felt like it was tightening and something was tightening around it and I didn't really think anything of it I thought it was just like heartburn or something and but like I was a little scared but I didn't want to go somewhere and then as stupid as it sounds have someone say it's heartburn but like maybe I should have but I went to the doctor the following week about it and with all the symptoms he was like it kind of sounds like you were having a silent heart attack that scared the living out of me and but he said the only symptom that I had that makes him think it's something else was my headaches I had such a severe migraine as well and he's like with all those it's usually something digestive something that you're eating that your body is not a fan of and the only thing I can think of that I was eating a lot of was dairy and like I would have lots of cream in my coffee cheese like galore on everything and so he made a suggestion to try and like cut out as much dairy as I could and once I cut that out I felt better uh, I was losing more weight so it's for the better it's for the best for sure but yeah so that scare was kind of the last straw for me silent heart attack like I'm so lucky I don't have diabetes or any other issues like I'm quite healthy other than being overweight which I really should not take for granted so I'm not going to anymore and my end goal with this is to not lose weight it's just to be healthy. I also want to get a bike soon so I can start riding my bike to work and stuff so that should come hopefully this summer. You have no idea what we're gonna to do today do you? You think we're just gonna stay home or go to work and you're just gonna to have to sleep all day and you're not gonna get outside and do anything fun and you don't know how wrong you are. Anyways I'm gonna finish my smoothie, change, and once we're getting ready to go I will show you her reaction to what it's like when I tell her we're going for a CRI, CRI, C-A-R ride. So she kind of figured it out on her own already and is already kind of freaking out. I wonder if she'll do this. You come in, jump, 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 come in, jump, jump, jump. Good girl. <laughs> okay, well I think it's time that I get my shoes on and we get our ass in the car. So Keela's now definitely figured out that we're going somewhere. And she's getting very excited. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Oh, girl. We just got here. I'm gonna put her harness on. Someone is really excited. Are you excited? Oh, ouch. Are you excited? Oh, girl. Someone doesn't get out much. <laughs> girl, so quit playing with the windows. Okay, I better put her harness on. We better start walking or she's gonna kill me. Okay, so we're off. Keyless. Peeing on everything, as usual. Um, I also just looked at the map, and there's a lot of different trails. Okay, and now we're headed into nice, shaded wilderness. This is what it's like walking with her though. It's such a pain, such a pain in the butt because she stops every two seconds to pee on things and I don't really get a good walk in. challenge we could do. There's a lot of forks like one, two, three pathways. Keela, where do you want to go? Which way do you want to go? Pick away. Go. I'll follow you. That way? Okay. <laughs> this won't get us lost. I 
think you chose an expert path. This is a hard path. But the path down there looks like a nice easy path. What did we do? Oh, I was not tempted to go down on that path. Holy <laughs> Okay, let's go. We're both gonna die. Okay, I think we're about halfway. It was rough. We kind of took not the path we should have when we first started, so we started off really hard. So I'm quite tired already, but the next leg is up there. And it's supposed to be hard, like quite hard. So I still want to try it, but I'm going to be taking my time. I don't care if this takes me three hours. Like Kilo's doing really well off her leash rather than on her leash. And it's just the dogs were allowed here. I don't think it's that they had to be on a leash. So far it's been pretty good. We haven't actually ran into that many people, which is kind of surprising. But I feel like everyone's like at the beach. But see, I don't tan, I burn. So, holy shit. We did it. It's, there's a little more that you could walk up there, but I'm not. It's really steep and I don't know what coming down if I could do it. So, and the girl that came down that was, that just passed and she said that the view is pretty much this. So, that's, now that I'm out of the shade though, the sun is hot, so I won't be sitting here very long. It was really hard. I wanted to turn around a lot, saying I, I couldn't do it, I wasn't ready, but that's such a shitty way of thinking. Like, just because you know you're not going to do it in the time allotted on the trail map or something. It doesn't matter. I haven't done the full trail, but it says like to do the full 5.5 kilometers. I'm not sure exactly how much I've done. It is an hour and it took me an hour to get from my car up to the top here so it'll probably be a little quicker going down but like for this part it's gonna be slow because it is steep and i think keela had a good time i'm gonna put her in the sling on the way down because the ground is quite hot and she's tired and she stumbled a couple times i just climbed a mother mountain i just climbed a mountain and now for a shot of the view Don't eat things. Again? God, aren't you dry yet? The audio is probably gonna be a little poor because we're near a road, but and all the windows are open, but my car doesn't have air conditioning, <laughs> so it's necessary. Although it's been in the shade, so it's not as hot as it could be. But oh my god, we did it. And all she wants to do is look out the window. Are you happy to have walked up a mountain? Are you happy? Are you tired? You're probably tired. Yeah, you're probably tired. Peel out that was right in my eye. When you know like you just got a bunch of bacteria in your eye from your jaw's tongue. Oh, peel it down. Down here. Oh my gosh. See, that's what I like about this water bottle is the lid acts as like a dish. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Ready to go? Okay, let's go. Not out. No, not out. Okay, I think it's safe to say that we both had fun. It was a struggle. It was hard. I'm glad I pushed myself. I wanted to turn around so many times because I thought it was just going to get harder and harder and I didn't want to deal with it. I'm so surprised with her. Going up the steep part, she did start to lose some steam. Um, steering contest. You lost. That was a, that was a good one. You weren't blink. Oh, you show my tired. This was just a very random video, but I feel like it's one that I want to remember. And around the time that it happened, I'm so happy and so excited that I'm getting healthier and that I could do that hike. And I ran into one couple. And they said that normally it's so busy and I was actually shocked. I think I only saw like six people total. So I'm glad I chose today to do it because doing that in front of a lot of people, I think I would it would have 
hit me a little harder, but I did it. It's going down from here. It's all going down from here. Just call us the Titanic. We're going down. <laughs> call my weight the Titanic because it's going down. <laughs> so stupid. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I try to put out new videos every week. I'm slowly getting better at that. And if you didn't like it, feel free to share it with all the people that you don't like. Make them watch it. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yeah.